so uh, we are going to start our uh, second uh, experiment on virtual lab 2 in our first experiments we have seen uh, the speed control of three phase induction motor by rotor resistance control method and here we will see the no load test of a three phase induction motor uh, in the similar fashion we as we have seen or rather uh, uh, experienced the in uh, the the process of performing the experience in virtual platform right so first let me go to this uh, electrical machine lab and then i have to select no load test and then i have to select experiment right <coughs> so now the experiment is open and before we uh, make the connection of this uh, experiment uh, we should recall our basic concept and we know from our basic concept that um, that uh, in case of no load test we will got the value of that series parameter the value of here is the theory where we will calculate this uh, x1 x2 and r1 r2 this is that is the all the series parameter right and for that what we will do we have seen in our lecture uh, already which i have uploaded in my uh, channel youtube channel you can go and check there uh, that uh, no load test and block rotor test of three phase induction motor so where we will do i will calculate the line to line voltage and the phase current for a star connected <coughs> induction motor and we will measure the power by two watt meter methods and from there we can calculate uh, easily the impedance of the circuit because we know uh, that uh, for star connection uh, the phase voltage is uh, divided by line voltage by root 3 uh, divided by current and if i get the value of uh, impedance we will get the value of uh, resistance because we know resistance equals to p by current square so that is nothing but the summation of the two resistance one is stator resistance and one is the resistance of the rotor refer to the stator or whatever you can say it and similarly if we uh, subtract the value of r from z we will get the value of x and here we have no we have used the thumb rule that uh, that uh, where it is Uh, we can assume x1 equals to x2, x2 then x1, x2 equals to x by 2. So, we can get the value of series parameter by using no load test. So, let me perform the test. So, before we proceed to the performance, continue order performance in the virtual platform, we should know the circuit diagram, right? So, let me first find the circuit diagram so this is i hope the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram of uh, no load test of three phase induction motor so these three are the motor terminal and these are the three supply terminal so we know two watt meter method so there is a common point v and v which is connected to which is connected to another terminal of that uh, motor part and uh, this three terminal e1 v1 and w1 is connected with this common part that is m com and load is returning to u2 similarly l is w2 and voltmeter is connected in parallel and ammeter in series so this is the circuit so now let me go into the virtual platform right so uh, yeah this is so let me make the connection so what i will do we have seen that first i will make the connection of current coil so 
from line current coil similarly from one line to the current coil right now one terminal so common point that is m com common point will return to the one terminal of supply and similarly from here also one return to w2 right so i have completed the series connection right so from line to uh, current coil of a one meter one meter similarly from line to another point of the current coil and both will return to this w1 uh, and w1 from the common point of current coil and potential coil now we have seen if we recall the circuit that there is a common connection of voltmeter with that another terminal apart from this two that is u2 and w2 so there is another terminal v2 which is responsible right or say v1 so let me do that connection so uh, what i will do from l2 it will return to v1 and we will make the common connection so from potential coil one point here and from this potential one so here so now i have met the complete connection of this watt meter now motor terminal that other terminal part is left so that i will connect the ammeter and voltmeter so this is very easy connection we will know ammeter i will connect series so so this point and this point so this is not the series connection so what i will do i will short these two terminals so now this is now that this is series connection so all three is connected with ammeter now what i have to do i have to do the connection with voltmeter right so voltmeter connection i will make so if we check voltmeter connection so voltmeter connection just not the not with that common point okay so so let me connect so i will take a blue wire so l2 is the connected with v1 so l2 i will not connect so l1 sorry so so l1 another point of the voltmeter similarly from l3 to another point of this voltmeter so basically i use the basic concept of our connections of uh, electrical engineering rather electrical machine so just we should remember that there is current coil to two watt meter is there current coil uh, one is common terminal of this current potential current that will connect it to that uh, any any of the terminal of the induction mode so i have made that connection potential coil connection and that uh, current coil part will be series connected so i have made this series connection so this completed and ammeter i have make series connection and i have connected the voltmeter with the other two part apart from the sorted terminal which is the common terminal of the two watt meter right so what i will do now so i will switch on it sorry first check connection so see okay it is saying right connection star connected okay so come we have proceed we will proceed for that so what we will do we will make this switch on we will switch on the mcb we will put the start button on we will make this second mcb switch on we will keep this voltage regulator to variable b point this is one and this is one this one right and so this is the knob of the voltage regulator so if i change that knob of this voltage regulator we can take the reading so let me check so if i increasing so you know in case of uh, no load test we 
start from a lower value and then we will go, go to the rated voltage because we know open circuit test is always rated voltage test and short circuit test is always rated current test so so what i will do from zero if i look so from this position you check what meter is 0 0.004 this is 0 0.009 so our meter reading is 0 0.256 voltmeter is 23.16 so similarly i can go second reading third and and so in this so increasing fashion i can get five to six readings although in open circuit test no record to take a reading only the rated voltage reading is enough so this is my final reading right so so we got that uh, 127 points um, 27 is this uh, watt uh, voltmeter reading and corresponding reading of this two watt meter and ammeter and so from here as i have mentioned we can calculate the series parameter of the uh, equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor or also we can from here we can see different uh, different waveform pattern right so here it has mentioned to view field lines due to current in stator and rotor so if you click and open in new tab so you can see this is the field lines so this is the this is the most interesting part so we have theoretically learned about this uh, how this uh, three phase uh, rotating magnetic field generated but from here you can see what is happening right so uh, so this is the field lines due to current in stator and rotor both stator and rotor have current so let me check field lines due to the stator current only so let me check so so look now this is this is only for the stator current there is no current flowing through the uh, rotor similarly we can check field line due to rotor only view to eddy current density and then view total magnetic flux density so so this is total magnetic flux density look here this is the eddy current is developing inside the motor why this is so maybe this is some problem so these are all we can see so this is the interesting part of virtual lab we are not physically present in front of a three phase induction motor we don't have physically a voltmeter a ammeter or a watt meter but using my basic concept and taking we can take reading we can draw the graph whatever uh, we actually do in in our physically in our electrical machine the same thing we can perform in case of this virtual platform so uh, the conception wise it is it is similar to physically do the experiment uh, and to perform the same thing in virtual platform. So thank you. In our next class, we will perform the block rotor test of three-phase induction model. Right.